Hey, it's Brian. Welcome back. Today we're doing something slightly different with Buckethead. And one of my fans, followers, whatever you want to say, uh, suggested that I go tune by tune through a record and suggested this record, The Dragons of Eden. And so I'm going to attempt it. We'll see how far I get. But uh, I'm not sure of the track list. I'm just going by uh, the numbers on the, the actual static video. So no video, just uh, what you're seeing here. And this first song is called Cosmic Calendar. So I don't know what I'm going to do while this is playing visually. Maybe I should take up some kind of puppetry or something. So, uh, yeah, anywho, here we go. Keyboards. Wow. A piano and keyboard pads add a nice texture to it. really interesting. Kind of fuzzy, mid-rangey. I love the bass is really in front. Super composed piece. That's pretty cool. It's almost like uh, at your winner, with more long, lush keyboard parts. It's like a boom sound. Guitar's pretty minimal. Yeah, oh, I was, oh. Sounds like Blue Oyster Cult. Seventies influenced, I guess is what I would say. Yeah, 
Dickerson, the keyboard player. I say that, but I won't. Great textures. I just think um, at seven and a half minutes, I could handle. We're at 5.46 right now, so... Cool riff. Love the riff. said kind of first cut i believe from the dragons of eden that song was called the cosmic calendar cool i love it i think my one criticism of some of these tunes uh that one was a great compositional thing like i was saying kind of the counterbalancing this cool kind of uh edgar winter Blue Oyster Cult 70s kind of riff rock, kind of heavy plotting groove with these great lush violin and uh, organ and just like uh, like keyboard pads and stuff like that, that kind of cool string arrangement um, with that in conjunction of that. Really cool to hear those kind of bounce, you know, basically one over the top. And um, they work great. Um, but they are not necessarily, uh, they're complementing each other, but not necessarily in an overly wrought, like, you know, let's put strings to like double the guitar part kind of deal. So I like that a lot. So, um, like I said, I think my criticisms of Buckethead in general is I really like the songs to be about five minutes. And some are mind blowing, and um, I think you can say all of all of these things in that amount of time. And I I would prefer more ideas crammed into um, a piece than less. 
So that's my personal preference. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to do the second one. And um, thanks for joining me. And uh, here we go. Um, on to number two. Check back. Thanks.